<laughs> okay, you guys. So I was just doing my thumbnail um, for this video. I'm super excited to be filming this video, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Crystal Blake. If you're already a friend of mine, then welcome back to my channel. And thank you for joining me. And I'm so excited, you guys. Happy New Year's Eve. It's literally New Year's Eve. And you know what? I honestly can't believe it. Um, this year has been crazy as fuck. Honestly, to tell you the truth, yesterday I didn't even feel like I wanted to make it to the new year. Um, I was hoping that I wouldn't. And, um, but I'm still here. And contrary to what I believe right now i know that things are going to be getting better and um things are definitely going to be changing for me um for 2020 especially since i honestly believe that we all have the power to make changes in our lives and we all have the power to illustrate our lives and have our lives be exactly what we want it to be and how we want it to mean um i just think something like that takes a lot of work and Honestly, I don't have a choice but to put in the work or I'm going to continue being a sad, sad slob like I am right now. So, yeah, let's get into this video without further ado. So, I literally was just sitting in my house and super upset and just really thinking about um, my life right now and my feelings. And um, I couldn't help but actually thinking about... The past year um, and how crazy it's been I can honestly say that year 2019 was probably the hardest year that I've ever gone through um, I've honestly I had a rough childhood growing up but I feel like I was protected in a way that things just really didn't affect me I had a lot going on as a child lots of abandonment um, problems and just lots of just moving around like I barely had any stability um, I really didn't get a childhood and to make matters worse I was unable to grow up with my actual real parents and my siblings um, and my actual real family members so I just feel like I had a lot going on as a child but for some reason things just didn't affect me um, like how the how things in 2019 have affected me and affected my mental health and kind of really changed me i want to say um this year i kind of fell into some really bad habits that i never thought i would be a part of um i've just i've gone through a lot this year and it's been crazy but honestly i'm here to to change to put everything in the past and just move forward so which is why i decided to make my first vision board <laughs> um yeah i decided to make my first vision board ever i'm sorry this is gonna be a really emotional video because yeah i'm just in that kind of mood but anyways you guys um i decided to make my first ever vision board i've never done this before in my life um i've known about it I've attempted to to kind of create something like this before but honestly um I just never have so here it is this is what I came up with and I literally just did this on the spur of the moment kind of thing um worked on it um in my bed while watching tv and then I decided to turn the tv off and just have some quiet time so that I can actually reflect on the things that I was putting on here. So this video is for me to go ahead and explain to you guys exactly what I have on my vision board and how I plan to use these words to make meaning in my life and how I am going to um, live by these live by these say codes for this year 2020 and um just build a better me and just build um a new me because i'm able to do that it's almost gonna be day one so we're gonna start fresh and i believe that that's okay so anyways so let's just start over here well let's just start at the top and it says wear confidence 
And I decided to put that there because this year I've lost a lot of my self-confidence um, just, just through just different things that I've had going on um, this year just through relationships and kind of, um, I guess, allowing other people to define me. And um, I honestly feel like the biggest thing that provoked me or helped me along with losing a lot of my self-confidence is the fact that I stopped um, doing the things that like made me me, uh, like my hobbies um, that made me extremely unique. I kind of just stopped doing those things and I kind of just put my um, my attention to other things and I guess some of those things um, more or less ruined my my self-confidence um, in ways that I'm really not able to explain. I hope you guys can understand that. Um, I really don't want to throw anyone under the bus in this video. This video is definitely about me, so there I can't blame anybody. If I can't get the right words out to you guys, it's because, you know, I'm further calculating everything in my head and making everything add up and make sense and even um just there's things that i'm not going to be able to explain in the best of ways because like i said there is no one to blame so you kind of have to formulate your words in the right way all right so the next thing that i have here is some plants right here and i put those right there because i really want to start growing things um, this year I live on 10 acres and I literally don't have not one thing growing. I think it's crazy um, Like two summers ago. I was really big into growing plants um, Usually like in the summertime I had like a nice little patio thing if you guys have been following me for a while then you would remember that because I would love to go outside and kind of webcam and do videos and pictures out there in front of my photos so I definitely want to get back to that I used to have like sunflowers growing um, all kinds of just tropical plants um, beautiful flowers growing and I also had vegetables and fruit going um, one time I even was growing a pineapple and I think I left it there too long and maybe like an animal came and got it because when I actually was interested in picking it it was gone <laughs> And I was also growing some blueberries at one point, but I found out that if you're not quick on picking those, then the birds will come and eat those. So yeah, I don't know. I just had um, a few great experiences with having plants and I kind of want to have that experience again and be able to bring, you know, go be able to go in the garden and get vegetables and fruit and to also be able to cut plants and put them in my house and decorate my house with some plants that I'm actually growing outside so I think that would be super nice and um, it's just a nice added way to just feel joy um, to just feel joy because I love plants and I love flowers so all right so the next thing that I have here is beat stress with your pet um, if you guys know me then you know I have quite a few animals I have horses I have dogs and I have cats and I have one chicken I have two rabbits and I also have um, a fish so I kind of have a lot of animals and I definitely want more animals this year but I want to make sure that um, I'm spending lots of lots and lots and lots of time with my animals no matter what and I also want to make sure that when I'm feeling down and depressed that the first Thing that I've run to is my animals and um, I can just cry on them and they're sure to make me feel better so the next thing I've got right here is uh, it says I've got this which basically means I've got this I can handle every single thing on this vision board and I've just got life uh, by the balls if you will um, life is what I make it I've got this I've got this under control um, the next thing that I got is lust. We're just gonna go down here. So I have lust and I decided to put that there because lust really speaks volumes to me. Um, in the past I've been more of a just kind of a lustful kind of person, a hopeless romantic. Um, not saying like having a boyfriend um, because I feel like this year in 2019 I was really focused on trying to commit to someone and having 
um, kind of like a quote unquote real relationship. Um, that kind of failed and backfired on me and kind of left me alone and um, I just kind of burned some bridges that I shouldn't have just so that I can fulfill that relationship and it's just kind of left me with nobody frankly so I want to build up my my contacts again and just have people that um, I love being around not that I'm particularly like in love with but just that I lust you guys you guys are awesome and fun to hang out with and you guys bring spark to my life and um, I'm just not fully committing myself to one person so that one person can hurt me and bring me down so I'd like to go back to my old self kind of like a poly kind of mindset because I feel like that's when I was at my happiest and um I just had lots of lots of great people in my life and um I kind of want to get back to doing that okay so the next thing I have right here is what's on your mind and basically I have that there because I'd like to um, start actually getting the things on my mind out there's a lot of times um, when I'm really feeling really down and depressed and just really upset and I honestly just um, I feel like I do a lot of talking in my head I do a lot of drunk talking with friends and family um, when I'm going through things but I think when it actually matters and when it counts I don't like to go in great detail about my feelings even when I'm journaling I don't like to go in great detail about my feelings um I literally was in a really bad space last night and I was needing to call like a help hotline and literally when the lady answered the phone I couldn't do anything but sit there and it was just like I couldn't bring myself to to want to talk about anything I also had a friend come over to kind of just help me through the hard time that I was going through and um, I really couldn't bring myself to talk about it. Um, so I kind of just sat there quietly and just kind of got the support in that way. But I'd like to be able to open up and teach myself how to have patience and talk about my feelings and not just give up with it and just bottle it all up inside and, and, uh, and I think that things are gonna get better. All right, so the next thing I have right here is this yellow suitcase, which I have a suitcase that looks quite similar to this, so this is pretty cool. But anyways, um, I want to do a lot of traveling this year. Uh, I was actually supposed to be going out of town today um, to Key West for like a little um, getaway. And also, of course, it's New Year's, but <sighs> I just, I guess, um, I guess I just wasn't feeling it, so I didn't go. But going forward, um, after this vision board, I do want to push myself to travel more and to just get out and explore and to see new places and pretty much just check, check things off the map and put little bullseyes on the map of places that I've been and go to national parks and, and just do all kinds of fun, crazy things. Go on little day trips to places and I just love traveling and I'd like to get back to doing that this year <laughs> all right so the next thing I have is great food because I love food um I love food I feel like I have a really healthy eating lifestyle I feel like I eat a lot of great things but I'd like to just spend more time this year in the kitchen in my own kitchen creating um really good dishes and just I guess creating great food and um, I'd like also like to start hosting parties and stuff for families, for my family, and I guess make some really great food that that I enjoy for my family. <laughs> All right, so the next thing that I have here is excellence, and basically um, I'm striving for excellence pretty much for 365 days this year, and um, obviously it's one day at a time, so every single day I'm striving for excellence. As you can see right here, I have a big yellow trending thing right here. And basically, um, I plan to be trending this year. I plan to take my business to a whole new level. I plan to um, just upgrade everything and take my business more seriously and just 
dive into it and give it my all um give it my all hopefully this will be my last year um and the career path that I'm currently on. Hopefully um, I can give it my all and by next year I can be doing something else. But I definitely want to give it my all first because I feel like although I've been doing this for quite a while, I've never just taken it upon myself to kind of do it um, consistently and kind of have it be my main um, focus. So I'd like to definitely do that for 2020. <laughs> Okay, and the next thing I have right here is anger. Anger is a dirty word because I feel like um, anger is a really bad word and I feel like I've been really angry this year. I, I've expressed my anger like crazy, um, mainly through Facebook and um, mainly through Facebook. I think if you follow me on Facebook, I think that it's pretty known that I'm pretty um, just a sad character. Um, I don't think that it's mistaken that I'm extremely damaged. I don't think it's mistaken that I'm quite miserable at times. And, um, you know what? I'm just happy that it's not permanent. Um, anger is a dirty word and anger is something that I am going to stay away from because I don't like dirty words. <laughs> All right. So the next thing I have right here really big is beauty. Um, I'd like to get into doing beauty videos on YouTube, so I think I'm going to be starting a beauty channel. Um, I'm going to start working on my makeup a lot more, and first and and most of all, um, I'm going to make sure that I'm doing my makeup every single day. That I'm not walking out of the house looking beat up and ugly. I mean, look at my hair right now. I know my hair right now looks a little bit messy, but um going forward i'm going to try to make sure that my beauty comes first because i honestly feel like when you look good you're going to feel good or eventually you're going to feel good all right so the next thing i have right here really 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 small is his mom and i have this on here because i would love to be a mom again i already have a baby he's um 10 years old he's gonna be 11 years old this coming year so i've had a baby 11 years ago i've been wanting to get pregnant for the last few years um and i'm hoping that this year i can make it happen and um have a baby and um you know just have that be my main focus in life and just have that be um just something that i have going on i would just really love to be a mom again i really i really feel like a lot of what i have going on in my life um stems from um some problems that i have through co-parenting um with with my son's father just things suck in that area and i feel like um you know, if I were able to just more or less um, get a new fresh opportunity, I just feel like it, it would probably um, take away a lot of my sadness and just... Um, I, I feel like it would give me a new stronger purpose, um, a newfound stronger purpose, if that makes sense. All right, so the next thing I got is bright is beautiful. So being bright is beautiful, wearing bright colors is beautiful. Just being my bright, vibrant self is beautiful. Being my bright, authentic self is beautiful. I'd like to just remember that, live by that, die by that, and just have that be something that I live by. All right, so the next thing I have right here is this purple 100% is because um, I feel like being 100% um, in life is just very important. Keeping it 100 with people around you is very important. And most of all, keeping it 100 with yourself is very important. And keeping it 100 with my goals. Basically, I'm going to keep it 100 with everything I have on here. Live by this, die by this, breathe by this, sleep by this, eat by this. Okay? All right, so the next thing I have on here is shh, it's top secret. And that's because, you guys, I talk a lot. I put a lot of my business out there. 
to people. I feel like I share a lot of my private information with with people and I feel like a lot of times things that are very emotional to me and just things that have damaged me in the past I feel like sometimes um, get thrown in my face. I feel like just keeping my life a little bit more private and keeping things to myself and just knowing what things to share and what things um, I kind of have to deal with on my own. Um, I'd definitely like to learn that this year. So just keeping things more of a top secret and um, just being more private with, with my, with um, I guess the demons that I face or the trials and tribulations that I have that go on in my life. I'd just like to, um, to keep some of those things private. All right, so, and the next thing I have up top here, which you can barely see it, is reinvented. Because this year, I really plan to reinvent myself. I plan to just get back a bunch of my old hobbies that I just kind of put in the back burner and also um, find new hobbies, find new things that I'm excited about, find healthy things to do to, to, um, to give me adventure, to give me... Um, a reason to smile and laugh and wake up in the morning and feel like I want to do all over again. Um, I just want to reinvent um, my mind and just everything that there is about me. I feel like I could definitely be reinvented. <laughs> okay, so the next thing is exactly what's worth your time. And I want to make sure that this year that I'm spending things, spending my time doing things that are striking me joy um, the entire time. If it's not striking me joy, if it's not doing anything for me, if it's not building my happiness, if it's not um, teaching me anything, or if it's not growing me, then I don't need to be a part of it. It's probably not worth my time and I'm okay. It's perfectly okay if I just abort the mission and move on to something that's actually worth my time. Alright, so the next thing I have on here is the holidays. Right there in red. And I feel like um, this year I want to celebrate the holidays. Um, so it's New Year's Eve today. I feel like I'm celebrating this holiday by creating this vision board. Um, I'm going to be getting things tidied up um, throughout this day and just <sighs> having some me time, some alone time, and just focusing on the things that are important to me. Um, so I feel like I am celebrating this day. Um, the next holiday that's coming up is Valentine's Day, and um, I want to make sure that I'm doing some self-love things, um, that I'm loving my loved ones and showing them a lot of extra love and attention on that day. And I also just want to, you know, I guess make sure that each and every holiday comes up, that I create some traditions and that I celebrate it and make memories and take pictures and um, just don't let the holiday go by without um, making it memorable. Even if, you know, things aren't working out or I'm sad, you know, that's, that's no reason to, to not celebrate the holidays. Um, I know a lot of times... Um, I'd rather just be alone or just be sad or um, kind of ignore everybody and shut everybody out on holidays especially because I just haven't, I didn't grow up um, celebrating holidays um, that much so as an adult I really didn't but um, I think going forward it's okay to kind of let let that go, reinvent myself and have new traditions and just new thought processes about things. And the holidays are something that I feel like brings a lot of joy and it's something that I wanna be a part of. So, super excited for that to happen. Anyways, you guys, I think that this is all that I have on my vision board. I'm probably, well, I'm definitely gonna be hanging this up. I'm gonna be putting some lights around it. Um, I'm not too sure where I'm gonna hang this at. I'll probably um, be finding a place between now and tomorrow, considering I wanna have this up and in place for um, the new year. 
So in a future video, I'll definitely be showing you guys where this vision board has gone. And I guess over time throughout this year, we can um, go over it and see how things are going. Um, but I wanna have this vision board in a place where I'm gonna see it every day and stuff like that. So I might um, put this in the bathroom um, because I feel like that's a place that I'm going to be going in several times a day or whatever. Definitely every morning. Um, I'd probably go to the bathroom. So that's where this is going to be going. And anyways, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have created a vision board um, for yourselves or if you plan on doing so, please let me know in the comments below. Um, if you enjoyed this video, then give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this where I sit down and talk with you guys and stuff like that, then let me know. And um, I love you guys. And let's really take the time to love ourselves and be kinder to ourselves because I feel like that is something that I need to start doing. And let's also take 2020 with without any restraints and let's let's move in a positive light for this holidays so i hope you guys are planning um a really exciting um new year's i hope you guys are safe and i'll talk to you guys in the next video bye